Hello everybody! Hi! So, my mom and I are back at the parks and we are here today to give you guys a look at Disney's Club 33 1901 at Disney's California Adventure Park. So we have actually been lucky enough to go to Disney's Club 33 over at the Disneyland Resort, but never at California Adventure. So we're super excited. Mom, tell us a little bit about Club 33 over on this side. Well, Club 33 started out only at Disneyland yes. in California. And now with California Adventure open, being successful, they brought a Club 33, which is actually 1901. 1901. Here. <laughs> Lucky for us, right? I know. Well, we are over the moon because, like I said, we've been to Club 33 over on Disneyland side. We've been fortunate enough, but we've never been over at California Adventure. We have not. <laughs> and we hear it's really beautiful inside with a lot of focus on Walt, Walt. Disney and a lot of his history. Mm -hmm. So we're excited to see that. We're excited to show it all to you guys. Now, FYI, there's no filming allowed inside of Club 33 1901. There's no filming allowed inside of this club or at the one over at the Disneyland Resort as well. So we won't be doing any filming inside, but we're really excited to take a lot of photos inside of the club and give you guys an overview of what the experience is like, right? Yes. Okay, everybody, well, the club awaits, so we had better get going. Follow us along, why don't you? to Disney's Club 33 1901 at Disney's California Adventure Park. Club 1901 is a private lounge reserved for Club 33 Platinum members. You can find the door to this club located just to the right of the Carthay Circle Lounge in Disney California Adventure. While Club 33 gets its name from its address, which is 33 Royal Street, Club 1901 gets its name because Walt Disney was born on December 5th, 1901. Only Platinum and executive members of Club 33 are allowed into 1901, and unlike Club 33, members cannot make reservations for friends and family to visit 1901. While my mom and I have been fortunate enough to experience Club 33 at Disneyland, we'd never been to Club 1901 at California Adventure before. But, as always, we totally kept our cool. Once you enter the doors to the club, which, like I said, are located just to the right of the Carthay Circle Lounge, you will see a front desk where your club member will check in with the host or hostess. Once you enter the club, you will see two rooms divided by a hallway. On the opposite end of the hallway, you might catch a glimpse of Walt. He moves over there periodically, so you might see him walk by or see his profile. While the Club 1901 lounge is not as big as Club 33, it was definitely a lot larger than I expected. On the right side of the room, you'll see comfy couches, chairs, tables, and love seats, and a beautiful grand piano. On the left, you'll see more tables and chairs, plus an iconic bar where you'll see chairs labeled Walt and Lillian on the left and Roy and Edna on the right. Much like Buena Vista Street at Disney California Adventure and the Carthay Circle Lounge, the club transports you to the 1930s. The club is filled with pictures of Walt's childhood and career, including some digital photos that change every so often. You can find digital photos that use the same technology at Club 33 over at Disneyland, and also on some of the Disney cruise ships. The club is also filled with tons of Easter eggs and Walt memorabilia, such as books, a replica of his plane, Mickey and Minnie dolls, and other vintage treasures. You can also find a picture of Disney's nine old men, a picture of Walt and his team, and a caricature picture of the staff of Silly Symphonies and Walt Disney. 
there's tons more to see, so be sure to give yourself plenty of time to explore when visiting this club. One of my favorite things about Club 1901 is the bar, which has a gorgeous vintage look to it and is definitely a popular photo spot. I saw a lot of people sitting in the Walt and Lillian chairs at the bar, which is definitely one of the most popular photo spots at the club. My mom and I didn't get the chance to take a photo at the bar, unfortunately, but I guess that just gives us a reason to come back. While we unfortunately didn't have time to try any of the food at Club 1901, we did order drinks. My mom and I both tried one of the alcoholic coffee drinks on the menu, which were super tasty and we would totally order again. It had Bailey's, Kahlua, coffee, and whipped cream in it, so I think it was the B-52 coffee. We give it a 10 out of a 10. FYI, Club 1901 has basically the same food and menu as the Carthay Circle Lounge. My mom and I have dined at the Carthay Circle Lounge and had a great experience. Here's a look at what they currently have on the menu for dinner time. After enjoying our drinks, it was unfortunately time to leave the club. I definitely recommend checking out the merch on the way out. They sell items with the club logo on it that you can't find anywhere else, such as mouse ears, glasses, ornaments, and even golf balls. Also, be sure to check out the hidden Mickey that's located on the ground just to the right of the front entrance to the club. My mom and I had a fabulous experience and can't wait to return again to try some of the food, take more pictures, and, of course, have another cheeky coffee drink. Till next time, Club 1901. Oh my gosh, that was such a fun experience, right? Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. What a great time and I'm geeking out because I'm geeking out. Of course, I'm geeking out too. We're all geeking out, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, great opportunity. Great opportunity and the way they brought Walt into the story of the atmosphere there, I just really loved. I love everything they did. It just brought Walt into focus. Yeah, it really did. Now, like I said, we only hopped in for drinks, which was amazing. We were super Wonderful. lucky to have that experience. But if you want to have a dining experience at Club 33 1901, they have entrees and appetizers as well, and I hear they're really good. And also, like I said in the video, there's a shopping opportunity as well. Yes. <laughs> we didn't buy anything today, but uh, we are going to Club 33 again at Disneyland really soon. So we might buy a couple items then. So stay tuned for that. But even though we didn't buy anything, what did they give us, Mom? Oh my gosh, little stir sticks, uh, 1901 and... Oh little pads to put our drinks on. Oh, nice! So we can sit at home in the kitchen and pretend that we're at Disney's 1901 Club 33, That's right? That's your job, to make our drinks, oh. and we'll do that. Okay, that might be a little difficult, but I'll do what I can. I'll try and make something really <laughs> fancy. <laughs> and let's take a closer look at these. That's, is that a dragonfly? Dragonfly. Oh, that's really pretty. And a little uh, sun. These are these are fancy. Wow. I don't even know if I want to use them. I just want to <laughs> look at them. Yeah, I just want to put them out in our kitchen instead of using them because they're so pretty. And I like that it says 1901 because it's at Disney California Adventure, but it also says 33 at the bottom. So it's a nice little tribute, right? Very. I also love that 1901, as I was saying, signifies Walt's birthday. It does. So that's a really nice tribute to him. All right, everybody. Well, I think it's time for us to head to the parks now. But thank you so much for following us along on our Club 33, 
1901 adventure. We have another video coming out really soon over at Club 33 Disneyland side. <laughs> so definitely stay tuned for that video. But till then, stay safe out there, stay awesome, and perhaps sometime we will see you at the club. Have a great day, everybody, and thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye.